to Dave's Model Workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the hairspray technique for chipping off paint. So we have a bottle of hairspray, some spare bits and pieces that I've rusted up using my AK Interactive Rust Effect set. <coughs> um, basically today we're going to be concentrating on this piece here, the piece of armour. So, first step, let's do it. So I like to do this outside because the fumes are pretty stinky. Give it a good old shake, your hairspray. Really, this is nothing that you couldn't have already guessed. And just a good thickish spray on your piece that you're going to spray over later. So we've done one. And then also I'm going to do two tank wheels as well. These are all going to be part of my... Um, Soviet diorama, just rusted debris. And that's it. Okay. So once your hairspray is nice and dry, it's time to airbrush whatever you want as your top coat. In this case, I'm going to go with Russian green, and I'm just going to apply it sparingly because I don't want it over the whole piece. I want it to look like it has faded off over time. So that's looking about right for me. Okay, here we are in the bathroom. So many glamorous outdoor locations and indoor locations in this video. So, I've got some paper towel to stop things being wet when I want them to stop being wet. A toothpick, a scalpel, an old toothbrush, and my bits that I have done. So I've got my... Let's turn the light on. I've got my green bit of armour and my two tiger wheels that have had a slight coating of a sort of yellowy colour. So let's wet them and see how we go. It um, doesn't have to be drenching, a little bit of water so you can see just how much is on there. It's not you know, soaking in it for five minutes and then just have a little scratch and you can already see those first bits scratching off. And that's all that's involved. Let's see if I can get some better light on that so you can see the scratches there where they're coming off. That light's really showing it up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep going with these. So I've just used a toothbrush. And that's given a really lovely, it's given a really lovely, beautiful, scratchy feel to it. Uh, I'm going to dry that now to stop it keeping going. If you left the water on, you will you know, find that it starts to sort of flake off, slough off, if that's the word. Um, and it, you know, you won't stop the process; it will just continue. But to me, that is a pretty good-looking piece of armor that's been weathered. Um, yeah, let's try the same. Here's one of the wheels that we just wet, and again, you can actually start to see it. I don't know if my camera can quite pick it up, but you can actually start to see when that water's on there. The paint just starts to crystallize, isn't the word, but it just starts to break up a tiny bit. Um, you can start to see minute little cracks or bubbles appear in it. And here we go with the toothbrush. So it's a gentle process, you know, you really. Don't be heavy handed when you're doing this. If you are being heavy handed, you've put way too much paint on top. Um, maybe that's the effect you want. But to me, that's looking pretty good. So, once again, we'll dry it off just to stop the process. Dry, dry, dry off camera. There we go. A couple little bits there to tidy up. But overall, that looks pretty good. Once that's got a, you know, a wash with some burnt umber oil artist soils. I think that's going to look pretty amazing. So here's our three items. I think they look pretty good myself. Um, the last thing I'm going to do with them is just do a little quick pigment action. So I've got some AK Interactive pigments. I've got some medium rust, which we'll just flake on here and there. Which I think will really add to the, the rusty effect overall. 
think once that's done, these guys are ready to put on the diorama. This one here, so I'm just going to do a layer of rust effectively coming out of that hub. Maybe a little tiny bit on one of the wheel nuts over here. And with my armor, I intend to have it standing that way upright, leaning against the tank, so my rust is going to sort of drip down it like that. And there we go. Blow the dust off. And I think we have some pretty convincing rust. And it's all down to that chipping effect. Okay, guys, hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, this works beautifully for, you know, just chips on paint tanks and stuff like that, you know, walkways, etc. But here, I thought I'd try and give you an effect, show you how it works. Okay, if you have any questions, do feel free to chime in and ask with comments. Um, please check my blog, it's daysmodelworkshop.com. And otherwise, please subscribe. See you next time. Cheers, everyone.